Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm working on a project that I have been putting off for quite some time because I really don't want to do it because it's a pain in the butt to do and just time consuming. It's not hard, but it's just time consuming. There's a lot of nuts and bolts I have to loosen up to get the whole front end of this truck off to get the plow frame and the wires and everything off. So uh, it's uh, after today. I will officially not have a plow. As soon as I get this off, it is sold. Guy's been uh, messaging me, wondering when I'm going to get this thing, uh, the plow frame and stuff off the truck so he can pick everything up. So, got to get it done today because uh, I am running out of time with everything else I have to do. And lots of projects are piling up on me and I'm just getting a little bit farther behind. I got to get this project done though because this is the biggest time consuming one I have. So. I'm going to do my best to get the, show you exactly what I have to do. Take off the grill, uh, the bumper cover, the bumper, and the whole wiring harness. It's going to be a long, drawn-out process. So taking it off is not going to be much. Putting it all back together, remembering what all went back together is going to be the hard part. So let's get started. Okay, first thing i got to do is uh, take out two bolts. There's a bolt here, a bolt here, and uh, T15 torque spits up along this uh, rail here or the molding so that's all got to come off to get back to all of this that's always a little scary at first now we got to take a bolt out right here which T13 or T15 torque spits up. This is the scary part because you think it's going to break. You got to pull a little bit. Oh, piece came unglued. So that's just a little scary. One more pop here. And there's a lot of tabs that's got to be released. So I don't want to scratch the paint. So I'm just going to do that. So I don't know if you could see that tab right there. That's what we have to release. And... Uh, they're all over the place. It's not a big deal, but it can be. See the little tab there. That's all you got to do is release it. Just a couple more all along there, and it's going to be the same way. Just take your time. Don't force anything. So I don't know if you can see any of this, but hopefully you can. This is one of the tabs is picked up push out, but there's one up in the corner that I cannot get to. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. I'll just pull out on the front. This is even a part. coming up fairly easy, easier than I thought it was going to. There we go. Holy cow. Now I gotta take all these caps off. They do make a tool for that. But I just never picked one up yet. These are plastics. You gotta kinda be careful with them a little bit. You don't wanna mangle them all up too much. Thank you. 
No, 10 millimeter bolts to get the grill off. Yeah, this uh, Milwaukee. Oh, was it M12? Yeah, I love this thing. Nice and small and easy to hang on to. Next thing now is the grill. Lift up. Because there's little tabs in here. It should come off. There we go. That's going to be fun to get back on. So underneath the bumper, there is uh, these uh, two bolts right here. They're, that holds this bracket in place. So I am going to pull this off and get it out of my way. So the next thing is the two 18 millimeter bolts. Same thing on this other side. Yeah, they hold good. Okay, now there is lights in this bumper. So in order to get this wiring harness off, you have to pull this little red knob out there, push down right there. Red knob, red, yeah, and that just unplugs. It's simple. But if you don't unplug that, it's not simple anymore because when you rip the bumper off or take the bumper off, you're not going to be happy. Okay, now the bumper should just come right off if I got everything unhooked. It's one side, the other side. That's it. I just take it back and set it on a piece of rug. Again for now.
Well, that I've got all the hard part done of taking all the wires out and remembering how it all comes apart and fighting with it a little bit. Now I gotta remember how to put it all back together. So I'm gonna put this in uh, high speed or time lapse, whatever you wanna call it, right now, and I'm gonna put the front end back together. I've got a ton of gravel in my shoes. camera over to get away from the afternoon sun glare so that's the end of the project yeah it's a big old pain in the behind but it's all done I don't have to worry about it now uh, and it's you know I spent uh, let's see I don't even know what time it is now uh, it's six o'clock now I started about one so five hours but uh, I also went to the store grandkids came over so you know how all that works. Probably only put, took me about 20 minutes to put it back together. So realistically, with taking everything apart, probably took me about an hour and a half maybe, somewhere around in there, maybe two hours. But just because I had a hard time getting some things off and, you know, the fighting with the grill and stuff like that because I don't do that stuff every day. So it takes me a little bit longer to remember how it went together a year and a half ago. So anyhow, yeah, only a year and a half on the plow. So on this truck anyhow uh, no more plowing for me it's officially done so um, hope you enjoyed this video please comment like subscribe and click the notification bell and everybody have a good evening and we will see you on the next project